In this video, we are discussing mean max count map reduce. So, this particular problem we shall go on implementation also and we will be working on XML containing such data. So, let us discuss on this problem into more details. So, what is mean max count map reduce? So, in the map reduce task, we will group the batches.xml data on the user ID. So, we are having one XML that is a batches.xml. So, they are existing in the respective folder. We have shown that one in the previous videos. And then on the user ID, there is one column will be there known as the user ID will be forming group over them. And for each user, we will find the minimum and the maximum the date time of getting a batch. So, against each and every user ID, we shall find out the minimum and the maximum date time of getting a batch. So, also count the number of batches of that user. So, these are the tasks we are going to do. So, that is why it is called mean, max and count map reduce. So, in this example, the user ID is the key and mean underscore date, max underscore date and counts are the respective values. So, let us go for one practical demonstration of easy implementation of this problem. We are discussing uh, mean max count problem in summarization design pattern. We are having this uh, file system here. We are having the file that is a batches.xml. Batches.xml is our input file and we will be discussing on this batches.xml. But at first we want to concentrate to discuss about the java files so batches.xml is our input file which is under the folder input slash batch so under this folder the batches.xml is there so we are opening eclipse here we are having two java classes are there one is a mean max sum data dot java and another one is a mean max sum mr tax dot java so we are discussing mean max sum data dot java it is implementing the writable interface and it is having the member variables min date, max date and sum. Sum means actually here we will be calculating the count here. We are having the constructor that is the min max sum data is our respective constructor here. And we are having the other methods are also there in this particular class. We are having this is the date format. This is the format of the date in which the date will be interpreted. And we are having get a uh, min date, get max date, and get sum. So these are the getter methods and get min date, set min date, set max date, and set sum. Read fields, write, and to string are the other methods are there. So read fields, write, and to string, and some getter and setter methods, and also the uh, respective constructor. We are discussing min max sum mr tux dot java. So there is another Java class which is extending a mapper uh, a mapper uh, class which is inheriting the mapper class and here we are having the method that is a map we are having the method that is a map and also the other methods are there we will be discussing having the uh, respective methods like our say min max sum mapper which is extending the mapper class here and then also this is the op data text op user id and min max sum data op data so this uh, data is there so these are the uh, variables are there we will be using and also we are going to have one method that is the xml to map which converts the xml to hash map so let us discuss this particular method at first so there is our xml to map which takes a string as input argument and which returns one hash map so, this is a conversion method and that has been called here to uh, which whose output will be kept in XML parsed. So, XML parsed dot get date and XML parsed dot get user ID. So, this is the user that is the string user and also the string creation date. So, these two variables will be initialized using this XML parsed dot get uh, methods. We are having this date format. The already the date format is uh, we have discussed the date format so this is the date format in which we will be expecting our dates in our uh, data file you can find that these are the respective setter methods are there which has been kept in the try block and catch block is there which is holding the uh, catch block to catch the other exceptions if there is any exception has occurred 
this is a count dot write that is a user id and the op data so we'll be counting that how many times this particular pair has occurred and this is our min max some reducer which is extending the reducer class initializing this uh, there is a reducer there is a reducer class which has been inherited here and we have overwritten the method reduce in this particular in this particular section ob data dot set max data null ob data dot set min data null and ob data dot set sum that is the initial count for the uh, for for the uh, for this particular value we have kept that one zero at first and final sum has also been initialized with zero so if min max sum data so now here we are having to if conditions so if ob data dot get min debt is equal to null or ob data dot get min debt dot compares to get min uh, min debt so depending upon this condition so we are going to update the min debt with the data dot get min debt otherwise if we compare for the max debt also if the max debt is not is, is equal to null or say uh, op dot get max debt dot compared to this is less than zero then the op data dot set max data max debt it will be initialized with data dot gets max debt so in this way the set max debt and set min debt methods has been, has been called from the op data object to keep the min debt and max debt respectively depending upon the conditions and also the final sum has got increased by the current count so final sum plus equal to data dot get sum so add and sum with the previous sum and here we are writing this context we are writing this context so ctx dot write we have used this method there there is a map there is a map method and let us come to the main method now right at this moment so here we require two arguments to be passed so if the number of arguments is is not two in that case we'll be uh, exiting with some error message printing now for the first argument will be accessed with argument args 0 and the second argument will be accessed as args 1 because we require two arguments to be passed here so job job is equal to job dot get instance config min max sum job and the respective one and then job dot set jar by class min max sum mr task dot class so that class whatever you have defined we have mentioned that one we require two arguments the first one will be the input so add input path and the second argument that is the arc zero will be the output so set output path here so that will be passing in the command line argument whenever we will be running the code set mapper class that is a min max sum mapper and set reducer that is a min max set reducer class so these two classes uh, we are just uh, um, assigning to this set mapper and set reducer classes so also we are having the boolean so uh, if the success is there then the exit will be done with zero otherwise the exit will be done with one so we shall now uh, go for the the batches dot xml there is a batches dot xml you can find that we are having the multiple rows are there we have taken a snapshot of that so here it is one xml file so we are having the id that is id is one two three four in this way user id is also one three five eight ten and so on so we are having different kinds of types of users we are having autobiographer we can have the teacher we can have student we can have supporter there are so many different category of users and also we are having the respective date and time is there in the same format in which we expected there we are having the class ids and the tag based one boolean field is there in our code we didn't use the tag based but also we can use that one so it is under the folder that is a uh, slash input slash batch and the file name is batches dot xml so we have got this java files we have got the idea of this batches dot xml that is the input file now we shall show you that how to run the code we have opened the terminal let us clear it now we shall write the command so it will be as the uh, hadoop jar there is a, a path map reduce uh, destination pattern slash jar file summarization patterns dot jar this jar file will be shall be creating from here see we'll be going for the summarization pair problem and then go for the right button click and then export and then you shall export it to the jar file this is the jar file is the respective folder in which the summarization problem will be uh, will be kept as a jar file in the in the and uh, java archive resource you know this is a java archive 
so in this way the jar files will be created now let us let us come back to the uh, command prompt so this is the jar file and the respective path has been provided and input will be about uh, min max sum dot min max sum mr task so that is the respective input uh, class here there is a class actually which will be executed then we require the input file input file is under the folder slash input slash batch so under this folder the input file will be existing and then we'll be ha also having the output there we'll be also having the respective output output is a folder in which the output will be created now we shall execute this command so outputs are to be created under the output folder in the form of a part so output has been created in the output folder in the form of a part part file so let me open that one so this is a batches.xml that is the input and here we are having one output folder if you open the output folder we are having the part hyphen r hyphen zeros are there so there is the output file so we are supposed to see the content of this uh, output file here so let me go for the output file let me go for the terminal and then we shall go for the cat command through hdfs we're giving the path name and then any file starting with the part need not to write the full uh, file name so any file starting with the part so that will be printed because the command the option we have given as cat so the content will be printed yes this is the content so you can find that in the first column we're having the ids then we're having the min date we're having the max date and the number of batches given to the respective id so here the number count is about 29 so there is a count actually the last column is containing the count id uh, min date max date and the count so that was our purpose to uh, print so that has got printed in the output folder so now to uh, we will be running so many other files so we can also delete this output folder you can find that we can we shall be deleting the output folder let me issue the command here so we shall be deleting the output folder so that uh, next time I did not to face any problem it is not mandatory so minus rm for remove and recursive so the file uh, folder has been deleted thanks for watching this video